of 10. Hey, y'all. Good evening. What's going on? Ah, what is happening? You all, thank you so much for joining us tonight. What is going on out here? What's shaking bacon? (laughs) I love it. So, um, you guys know it's Tuesday night here in the big town. It's me, Pastor Michelle, Pastor G. Um, of marriage makes the number three dot com. Y'all know who we, y'all know who we are by Tuesday now. Tuesday through Thursday between nine thirty and ten ish Central Standard Time. The ish police you. calls us and says, we "Hey, are, uh, drop in the tools <laughs> and to help you get your relationships on and popping. Hop Come on How's now. It going? How are you all doing out there? Come on in and." Mm. Holler at us, holler back at us. How's it hanging? The ushers. What? No. The okay. ushers. Okay, is that? I was just thinking that the ushers didn't even come by and get my gum from me. Okay. They're, they're, they're not on the job like they normally are at church. Well, they didn't come by and smack you with a, a stack of fans, <laughs> a stack of Martin Luther King uh, insurance house fans. So. Have, you, have you ever been in a church where the ushers will have their little white gloves on and they'll bring a tissue and put, put it in front of your mouth? No, I don't, <laughs> you just, no thank you. Until <laughs> you just spit the gum no, out. No, thank you. I oh started this. You, still has the sweetness. It still has the sweetness. Juicy fruit. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, glad to have you all right there on this uh, Tuesday. I love it. Uh, this is Tuesday. Tuesday, the last Tuesday, New Year's in December. Yeah, how about that? Tuesday's Eve, I guess. Tuesday's uh, Eve. Yeah, the last Tuesday before the New Year. Okay, how does that make that it accurate? Tuesday Eve? I don't know. Okay, it's well, hey, Tuesday. it's Tuesday. <laughs> that's what that's what my husband said, well, and by Tuesday. gosh, that's what we're gonna call All it. Right. So <laughs> it is what it is. Come on in here, invite someone and share this broadcast. Um, We are getting ready to get started tonight. Now, you all know that we're here, you know, them three days a week so that we can help you guys because some of y'all's relationships Mm -hmm. suck. Can I say that? I hate to hear it. We hate to say it. I hate to admit it. You hate to say it? But you already know it. I'm you just know, telling the truth. Some of you already know it. If that's you, yeah. <laughs> bow your big old head and let's pray for you. No, sometimes, sometimes it's it's beyond your control. And we understand yeah. that. We understand that it's it can be tough. Yeah. Holidays and uh, Corona, everything else, uh, job situation, money situation. It. Uh, sex or lack, the lack, or lack thereof. thereof. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, dalliance on the part of one of the one of or, the party. Okay. Uh, you know, they want to have it elsewhere. They want to do too and, much. And listen, the relationships are, ne- are not easy. That's true. But uh, we want you to know, and the and that serious stuff is that there's help to be had, and we offer uh, these three nights some. Absolutely free help. Free, three ninety nine. Free, and it's some tools that will help you if you use them. Tools are beneficial to us. Yeah. If we will take them, if we will evaluate them and apply them or yes. use them, please. And and that's what we want for you. Now, uh, maybe you're in and the need for some more specialized help. We offer, uh, of course. Uh, the free 15 minute encounter session. We'll hear more about that as we go on. And beyond the encounter session, if you need some specialized counseling yeah. and, and, and instruction on how to get through those tough issues, maybe uh, the, your other half don't want any counseling, don't want, I don't want nobody in my business. I'm, and I'm using the mail because that's, that's usually that's what I speak. That, right? That's you, and that's usually um, who got the issue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deidre. Hello, hello. There's the Pope. Hey there. The Ish <laughs> Police you, is in the building. What's up, darling? Thanks for joining. So, um, you were saying that it's usually the guys, and it's true. You know, Sorry, shame. But... Tell the truth. Shame the devil. I don't know what it is, but I, I but I do know what it is. But it, it just seems hard to me that you would know that something is wrong, mm-hmm. and instead of trying to get that thing so fixed. Instead of trying to get it fixed, what are you doing? You're acting like, you know, you're too good. You're acting like you're too proud. And I know that it has a lot to do with the male ego. Ain't too proud to beg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was that was Martha. Yeah, he ain't too proud, but, but some of you, these guys. Listen, you, you, sometimes you need 
somebody else. Listen, listen, and if your pride is such that you get aggravated, somebody's trying to help you you do something for your own good. Maybe you're one of those people who will benefit from a one-on-one session. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes you need somebody to listen and uh, reflect back and tell you you what you're saying and how you're coming across. Absolutely. And listen, here's another thing. Because it's two of us, Mm -hmm. they have both perspectives, but... Truth. But look, if you're a guy and you feel like you don't want a woman to hear anything that's got you going on because you think that we're going to say something a little off, a little crazy, a little like might sound like your wife. I don't know what you yeah. can do is you can come in and talk to Pastor yeah. G. Yeah. Hello. And I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to uh, talk down to you. It, OK. I'm going to try to be a, a listening ear. I'm going to try to hear you out. Period. Reflect back what you're saying. Right. We're, and we're going to have try to help you to get through the situation. That is, if you want to preserve your relationship. Yeah. Now, if if you don't want to preserve it, no amount of help, no, free or, pay or otherwise, is, is, going, is help. going to it help. It is true. But it's if you true. want that thing to work, and we believe that we have the tools that will help you to get your relationship on and popping. I, I, I want that. <laughs> You know, I want to live and and you live longer in a good, healthy relationship. All right. Statistically, that that, that wasn't just speculation. That's statistically. Mm -hmm. And men live longer uh, when they're married. Um, Women, on the other hand. (laughs) Committed. Well, women, we yeah, we could get now, committed depending now, on who we're married to. Now, uh, if you're raising, she's had 12 kids and, you know, <laughs> stressed out every single day, wondering where you at. Then that becomes she's a problem. not necessarily going to live long. That right? becomes a problem. You might die just to get out of it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You know, we have to inject some humor. You are the best. I Thank love you, it. Did, did you like Did you like our new that. background? Thank you Thank so much. You. We appreciate that. And we're rejoicing because the snow is not clear. in our home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to yeah. God. Listen, our daughter, she went back home today and she said that it's supposed to be 26 degrees when she gets there. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, mm. Lord, I love you, but I'm not coming with you. Mm. It, it is what it is because yeah. I, I mean, I grew up with snow and all that. It's fun to play with, but it's good to leave it behind yeah, as well. Man. Um, being in Japan, you remember we had a hundred and twenty-six inch average yeah. snowfall per year, yeah. and that oh lord, you wake up in the morning, you couldn't even see your car. Yeah, it was nothing to get twelve to thirteen just, inches at a at yeah, one. Yeah, in one you know, one falling, one yeah. one snowfall. Wow. And and the cool thing about about northern Japan anyway, that area is that it was still pretty mild and that mm-hmm. it would melt. Yes, days. it did. It didn't yeah. stay around very long at all. It be wet. Yeah, but it, it didn't stay. <laughs> it did not stay. Mm-hmm. And I love that about love that, that place. Too. So, guys, come on in here. Uh, we're just chit-chatting. Um, I don't know why we got on to all of that, but yeah. we're here now. And, and we want you. you to be a part, right? So, uh, if you're in here, if you're on Insta- I'm not Instagram, if you are on Periscope, Periscope, we need you guys to know that Periscope is going bye-bye in March. And so, if you want to continue to be a part of our broadcast, if you want want to continue to be a part of the conversation. You continue to want some information that's going to help you with your crazy relationship statuses. I need you to go over to marriage makes the number three underscore on Instagram or follow us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. All right. So we can go live there. And honey, we're also now on anchor. We've got our own podcast anchor.fm forward slash GD and me. How about that? Makes it easy. Dot anchor FM. dot an o anchor. forward slash uh huh fm uh huh dot gd no 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 not anchor dot anchor dot com dot com okay forward, forward slash, slash g wait FM. now you don't know stop 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 <laughs> time out you don't got me all confused anchor <laughs> dot fm anchor dot fm forward slash forward slash gd G D and me and A N D 
M-E. M-E. Okay? okay. Follow us over there. Okay. Like and share over there as well. Okay. So want to remind you guys that you need to go to marriage makes the number three. Thank you, Dieter, for dropping that in there. Mm-hmm. And you need to go ahead and get that download because it's still free. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called it's called Sex Connect. Let me show you guys what it looks Sex. like. Sex Connect. Sex Connect will bless you, baby. It'll bless your life. It's free. You see that zero mm-hmm. dot zero zero? That is the equivalent of free 99. Mm-hmm. Zero point yeah. zero zero equals free 99. It's a download. Free you can go in and get it. it. Yeah, we're talking tonight about right. the effects of affection, mm-hmm. right? So Sex Connect is one of those tools that we talk about that's going to help all of you that are already married and you've been jacking up your relationship. You haven't been touching each other. Nobody's been fondling anything. No kissing, uh, been, hugging, there's, and a kissing, a and, hugging, and a loving. Kissing. None of that been going on. Or maybe some oh, of that's boy. been going on, but you know, you need to rekindle some stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. y'all, when people get older, for some reason, stuff just act like they don't want to, they don't want to do nothing no more. Yeah. But listen, you are not supposed to be slack when it concerns the promises right. of God. And he said that we are supposed to do what? We're supposed to renew the covenant. Right. Mm-hmm. So at marriage makes the number three dot com or you can check the link bit.ly forward slash mm three L I N K S, you will be able to get the free download of Sex Connect, uh formerly known as Yes No, maybe so. Okay. Absolutely. Get it. It's gonna help you. We promise you that. 26 questions. Um, you're gonna two of you are gonna get a, your own copy. You're gonna answer each question, yes, no, or maybe so. Yes means yes, y'all know it. No means absolutely not. And maybe so means, you know, I might want to try that. Absolutely. How about we try that, right? And then you'll be able to go to each other and say, hey, this is what I got. What did you get? And then you can move on from there. And listen, guys, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is give us your email address. And there you'll be able to get the download and keep in touch with us whenever we've got some things that are special going on. Hey, darling. Hey, Rianne. We see our cousin Barbara is here. Sister Sadie. Rianne is in the room. Thank you for joining. And thank you guys for sharing. And Inviting someone to the broadcast tonight. We're talking about the effects of affection tonight. So uh, let me go ahead and get this down from here so y'all can see us better. The effects, the effects of affection. Now, uh, when we're talking about affection, we have to know that there's some things, there's a lot of health benefits that come from this. And I was astounded when I found out like how many hugs a day, why it matters. Now, when my baby girl, Kadeen, y'all know the, the youngest one, when she was born, we had uh, in the NICU, right, the new mm-hmm. neonatal intensive care unit, mm-hmm. there were people that I didn't know. And they would just come funneling in. And I was like, who are these people? And why are they here? Because, I, you know, I was at the hospital every single day at every yeah. moment that I could. And here were these people that I didn't know. I'm like, yeah, I know kids up here. I didn't see y'all's kids in here or not. And I found out that there were people called cuddlers. Cuddlers. It's not a fetish thing. And even yeah. though there's probably somebody out here with yeah. some kind of fetish like that. But these cuddlers would come in because the babies that were in the NICU, mm-hmm. their families usually could not be there with them. And there's something about human touch that blesses you to the Mm -hmm. place where it it helps you to grow and to develop more than if you were left by yourself. Wow. And so people would volunteer to come in and cuddle babies. I'm like, wait, what? Wow. You can you. You can volunteer for this. I want to. I want to be in on this, but I had my own that I needed to 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 uh, to cuddle with. So it was all good, right? Keep them cookies. Don't let your cookies get six feet closer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Rian, yeah. you are a mess. I love it. Good to have you. With uh, us we're doing you. great, Thank sweetie. You. Thank you for coming in and thank you for asking. We appreciate you, sweetheart. So the effects of affection. Here we um, found out that affection means simply showing care. Mm-hmm. And I love that there are couples out here that show affection on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. But here's the problem. Some of y'all don't touch. You don't yeah. hold hands. You don't and, kiss. And, and you don't talk. No. So so affection, uh, you get paid to cuddle. 
<laughs> you get paid to cut up. You I can get. Yeah, you know, they were volunteers, volunteers, but yeah, I'm sure there are people who do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now there are some mm-hmm. fetish folks, and we've talked mm-hmm. about fetishes here before that do pay people to come in, just like a dominatrix would come <laughs> in and dominate you, or a submissive would come in wow. and allow someone to dominate them. There are people that do like um, ha- having that type mm-hmm. of. They dress up like little mm-hmm. babies. So for every good wholesome thing, there's some weirdos. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's so let true. me let me it's say true. that affection. Okay. With an A. With an A. Affection. Uh-huh. Uh, it it involves uh physical as well as verbal yes. uh response. Yes. So there is some there is some communication involved uh, from the verbal as well as the physical that standpoint. That you gotta have. Right. It's gotta be so, involved. And those two have to be consistent. True. So while I'm cuddling the baby right. or, or cuddling with you, uh-huh. you I cannot be, be calling you out of your name, but I need to make that sure part. that there's a consistency between what I'm saying Absolutely. and what I'm doing. Absolutely. All right. I, so, I, I, so this I actually, agree. Showing care. Showing care. Mm-hmm. And care comes <clears throat> in so many different forms. Um, care to someone that's hungry means that you're going to give them a meal. Yes. And so affection when we're dealing with it sometimes what happens is is that people don't realize that people that the person that they are loving needs certain types of affection mm-hmm. in order to feel as though they are loved. Mm-hmm. And it makes a huge difference when you feel that, that the person that you are wanting to love is giving you what you need. There's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. It's like having the right temperature um, uh, of of food. You know, so if if you had a hot salad, it kind of makes you go, Bleh. I don't want my salad hot, right? But I don't want my steak cold. Yeah. Y'all get it? So I'm going to do what's necessary for the situation. Now, is it good for us? Because you remember in the military, y'all, we, y'all know that we were former mm-hmm. military and or retired military, I should say. And one of the things that used to really get me was when I first got in, after going back home, it kind of pulled me back from my family okay. because there was this thing called PDA. Okay. And they kept telling you, no PDA, no PDA. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? And that's public display of affection. Of affection, right? Okay. So you can hold hands as long as you don't do it publicly. Right. Okay. And that was only in uniform, though. That's and true. so whenever we were in uniform, we had this mindset like, oh, can't touch you. And, yeah. you know, even when can't it was time you. to no, hug. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you were like in the airport, when I first got to see my family again, it was kind of like, uh, 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 what do I what do? do I do? I'm in my uniform, but yeah. I, this, is, this is my mom. What, how, mm-hmm. how do you work this thing out? And, and, and it's kind of a, it's an example of a paradigm shift. Yes. Which when you were a civilian, yeah. you can hug and kiss yeah, and whatever yeah. you want to do, whatever yeah. you want to do it, true right? That, true that. But when you're in uniform, all of a sudden you change Is the it? uniform and you're on a military installation, so you you have to think, no, I can't do this anymore. Exactly. Or I have exactly. to do uh, Even in, in service, I remember the uh, one of our instructors said, he said, now listen, when you all go back home for the first time at the end of our six weeks, he said, do not tell dad Pass the blank blank butter. Oh, because some of you all have learned you picked up some habits. <laughs> you learned how to cross since you've been here. <gasps> do not use Don't you those do words it. at your so because, so there are some things that, that you just have to make sure that you are checking yourself out with. I remember just last week, um, one of one of our you know kind of famous people in Christendom, Kirk Cameron. Mm-hmm. He was in a picture with his wife, okay. and in the picture, honey, he's got his hand. Or he's standing behind her. He's got his hand around her, and his hand is firmly planted. <laughs> what? Firmly planted in his wife's bosoms. Okay, they, they're right there. I mean, there is no question about where his hand is and what it was doing. They got a lot of kids. Don't they? they do have a lot see, of kids. That's why they have a lot of kids. You uh, see, or, but you know you what? Know, people, listen. 
We they in, people blasted. Oh my God, <laughs> honey. Sometimes I'm like, listen, I'm gonna need all of y'all super safe, delicious, deep married sense. to her. To leave folks alone. Why yeah. y'all so mad about everything? You ain't got to be mad about everything. I mean, that's that man's wife. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was some chick that, you know, y'all knew he wasn't married to and y'all, he was out there doing it, that's a whole different story, right? But she said he, she said he had a cup full. <laughs> <laughs> I did drink. Yes. And a whole and cup entire okay. cup, right? Wow. And but this is the thing. Why are you mad? Because this man is yeah. touching his own wife. Wow. He wasn't. It wasn't like a. I'm just grab. You know what I'm saying? No, it's just, they ain't been touched. Well, too. I'm afraid to touch well, them. Tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> it is cracking up. Oh, it is see, what it is. A lot of times, some sometimes uh, our members, some of our members, will tease with us and as pastor, you know that ain't right because I will hug her. And it's in front of everybody. You kiss her, and it's it's in front of everybody, in front of them. That particularly when they were you all were getting ready to take a trip. So <laughs> you know that, like, you know we ain't got one. And it's not to make anybody Pretty jealous feel or bad. right. And, and, and I'm concerned. I don't want you to just start hugging and kissing random people because I happen to have a wife, or cause you to think that way. Exactly. But I do want to create the kind of example yeah. so that you know that when you get a husband the, these you are know, the things that's supposed the way to happen your man right. if you got one he should he, be treating you how about that I we know. have to normalize affection mm -hmm. it, amen i know we get in church and <laughs> our, mm -hmm. our spiritual daughter uh was it last night or tonight i was cracking her we were in in the in the kitchen and she was somewhere in the in the den and she heard us singing a little bit and heard our feet moving mm -hmm. and so she was like are y'all out there slow dancing are y'all are y'all slow dancing i was i just cracked up because i'm <laughs> like well yeah that kind of is what we were doing <laughs> <laughs> and she says, next time I hear that, I'm going to come in there just like this so I can get between you. <laughs> Do you guys remember you would be at a dance or something coming up and one of the chaperones would oh, say wow. something like, leave some room for Jesus now. Leave some room for Jesus. <laughs> right? let, let some light in there. Let some light in there. I, I never had that. So I, but I, I, I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and that thing used to crack me up so bad. Pastor Cindy, hey, Pastor Cindy how are you going? How else people going to know how to treat, test their spouse properly? Amen. That yeah. part. Touch on. Come on. Dance gotcha. on. Yes, because if I'm, if he's not doing it with me, I'm not doing it with him, then there mm -hmm. leaves that opening for someone else to come in and yeah. do it. And I just thought it was so cool that, you know, a grown spiritual daughter mm -hmm. would still feel some kind of way like, ah, oh, mom and dad is in there dancing and kissing and carrying out. But you have, <laughs> listen, you need to show mm -hmm. that there is affection between you yeah. and your mate. You show affection to your children children or you at least you should i knew i know a woman i'm not gonna tell y'all who it is because they would know i know a woman that because she, her family growing up did not give hugs wow. hey good hair good body her family growing up did not show affection they didn't say i love you and things like wow. that when she did get married she had to force herself wow to be affectionate to her husband. And he was always full of, he just he see you and he'll just hug on you yeah. and love on you and kiss on you like there's nothing to it. Mm -hmm. But she had to consciously make the effort to mm -hmm. go in and say, I'm gonna hug my husband at least three times a day until it wow. became normal to her, right? So mm -hmm. all of us, sometimes we fall short, but when we begin to practice, like those cuddlers that come to the NICU, mm -hmm. they know that they're coming in, they're, they've got a job to do, and they're gonna do it to the best of their ability, right? Amen. So um, when we're talking about the effects of affection, you're showing care, you're expressing fondness. Oh, honey, mm -hmm. and this was the other part that, that cracked me up. 
um, y'all know um, Pastor Sarita Jakes. Mm -hmm. Her daughters were talking about Kirk Cameron and his wife. And, and she comes in and she says, well, why not? What's wrong with it? I mean, they're married. They could do it on the floor, on the chair, on the on the table, wherever they want to. And they was like, okay, mom, thank you. But um, we, you can go now. <laughs> you, you have imparted enough to the people. And she says, you sure you want me to say anything else? They was like, no, mom, it's okay. Thank you. But why not? What, yeah. what are we... When you're not married, people mm -hmm. are out here all day touching and picking and mm -hmm. tapping and smacking and flipping and doing all these other mm -hmm. things. And they are not doing it with their spouse when they get married. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Hey, love you, sir. Hey, Thank you for Apostle coming in, sir. And Pastor hey, Kimmy. For joining us. Glad to have you with us. Hello, sir. Pastors. Happy holidays. We're doing Thank great. You. We're talking about the effects Kimmy. of affection. It is pa what it is. Pastor Cindy says, um, yep. Same, Same way. way my husband was. We changed that. So that so our, our kids, kids knew, knew better. That. Amen. We That's have to right. be the example. We, we have to model yeah. the behavior. That's they right. have to see us love each In, other. Yeah. And showing as, a, it. as an example. Yeah. As an example. Yeah. And uh and and, and I'm sure that Kirk Cameron, he didn't go out of his way for the camera he, to no, be he just on his hands. Yes. You know, I mean, it's horrible that people would be so narrow-minded. No, it's it's mm -hmm. a stuck-upness. It's a um, puritanical <laughs> type of a thing yeah, that we, we expect people in church that we're not human beings. You know, yeah. what happened? What did you miss? Kimmy Doll, it was when Kirk Cameron had a picture. He was standing behind his wife, and he had his arm around her, and his, his hand was firmly placed on her bosoms. Yes, not both, just one. <laughs> And he caught so much flag for it. And I said, this is so ridiculous, right? So here we are. We express our fondness and the effects of it. You can become more physically and mentally have a well-being about you when you are in the place of showing affection and yeah, love. Yeah. Deidre says she just cringed. Oh, my God. Because there are those people that don't like hugs. Mm -hmm. Y'all know there are five love languages, and one of them is physical touch. And there are some people that they can't stand to be touched. But I feel like once they get, once they find the right one, they ain't going to mind getting touched a little yeah. bit. Hey, what? Let's see. Uh, the same thing you did to get your baby hooked is the same thing you have to do to keep them. Come on, All Kim. Right. And our church family, too, Cindy says, Pastor Cindy, we don't hide our love for each other. I call my Come husband on. Pastor Bay. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Love it. Love it. Glory to his name. Good hair, good body says, <laughs> do that. Feel a a loss of control by being affectionate. Affection is like air, water, mm -hmm. and food. Everybody needs affection. Yeah. And that's why when a child is born, they are not left to themselves. Mm -hmm. That if they are left out in the cold and they're not being nurtured and they're not being taken care of, they're in the most vulnerable state. Absolutely. And if we're loving someone, we ought to be able to see them in their most vulnerable places and still know that they are safe with us. Yeah. Right? Here, here's a, a an example from nature. When animals, cattle, wildebeest, um, lamb, goat, whatever it is, when it has a baby, <laughs> the first thing they do with that baby is that they begin to nudge them yeah. and lick them. It's true. Now, now that's, don't want you doing all that, but they lick them. And it is an act, number one, of, of, of drying them. Yeah, of it getting stimulates the, them. It stimulates them the, so that the blood is pumping Starts and they're ready to get on their feet and yeah. start moving. Amen. And and it and it's a bonding thing. It's they true. bond with them so they know that you're the mama. Yes. And I'm Me. the baby. And I've got to get in line with you. Right. And so the licking can be very... You know, forceful. forceful yeah. I'm amazed at how hard some of these because cows they start can moving like that. <laughs> right, because you're not you're not moving. So I need to get you up, and this is I need right. to give you a licking. It's a <laughs> you know <laughs> to get you get you motivated, get you moving, get your blood stimulated, stimulated. get your nerves get you working the way it. they should because yes. you've been cranked. 
Yeah, in, in, that in, little the, space, in the space. Right, exactly. And I need to get you moving. I so, but it's done. Stimulated. Bonding Stimulated is one of the things that will take place. So, bonding is important. Wow, what? Right. Good hair, good body. Good. On uh, Instagram, she is letting us know that even plants it. like to touch like you to touch their leaves and the roots. They're social. And I believe that because I go over and I talk to my plants mm -hmm. and I touch them and move their little things. I don't know what it's about. I never knew why I did that, but I do yeah. know that I moved the little leaves around. Okay, it little. was almost like I just need you to know that somebody's around here. Yeah, I was going to clarify what little things <laughs> the plants have. That you, you said leaves and limbs and I, I got it. I cannot with you. I got it. it is People that, need to know. It's, it's, they're married, right? PNTP, let them live their best life. Amen. If you see Drew grabbing some stuff on me in pictures, mind your business. It's my husband. <laughs> And he has the right, but you better keep your hands to yeah. yourself. She, uh, plants good hair, good body, touch each other plants. too. That's absolutely true. Wow, absolutely true. I did not know mm -hmm. that. That's amazing. It, and and they will grow to very often to find something. To, and, to get and that's a hold how of. they know that it's okay for me to grow here because I found something that kind of like them plants mm -hmm. that grow up on the side of the house. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? So here are the benefits. You all need to know this. Number one, let me see Number the ones one. you guys there in the chat. Number one thing, one of the effects of affection is number one, you have lower, it lowers your stress hormones. Mm. The stress. It hormones. lowers the stress hormones. Lower. Yeah. It's like a, a, a woosa in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Usa, it lowers More your stress just stress. being affectionate. And when we talk oh. affection, it's either the touch, you know, the 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 moving of the hair, the feeling of the temples, um, the holding of the hands, just the hugging. Those things are there. And I believe that God intended for us. Remember the scripture says, who was it, Paul, that says to leave each other with a holy kiss? I uh, love, yeah, yeah. And right. Greet each other with a greet, holy kiss. Greet each other with a holy kiss, right? And greet going and coming. Going and coming. And mm -hmm. so that's affection. Lowers your stress hormones. So true. Hey, that's Erica, good. love you, sweetie. Mama stimulates her new baby and her licking is for their benefit. Yes, amen. Bless you. So thank you, good hair, good body. Number one, affection lowers your stress hormones. Let me see those twos, y'all. Can I emphasize that cows and, and goats, those things lick because they don't have hands. So Right. Those of you who right. just want to go around licking stuff, you got hands. God bless you with two hands. You can touch. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. I uh, cannot. Some want to nuzzle. I you cannot. Know? <laughs> and then we're not in we're not in Alaska. We don't have to rub noses. It's warm <laughs> enough here, right? So here's number two. Number two thing, benefit is that it also lowers your cholesterol. Wow. Can you imagine that? that? Cool? You don't have to eat anything mm. special. It lowers your cholesterol. It lowers your stress hormones. And let me tell you wow. guys, stress hormones, that's the thing that ends up around your belly. She is cracking up over here. <laughs> stress hormones is called cortisol. And where does it collect? Right around your midsection. Y'all. Yeah. Belly fat. Belly fat. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, you said it like that? Belly fat. Mm -hmm. That's it what got, we spend most, most of our time, time trying, trying to get here. rid of so is our hugs. belly fat. Mm. More, more hugs, more affection is going to lower our cholesterol mm. and our stress hormones. And listen, you got to admit, even if it helps a little bit. Yeah, we should be doing these yeah. things. Okay, mm -hmm. so here is number three. It lowers your blood pressure. Mm. Lower stress hormones, lowers cholesterol. And lowers your blood, your pressure. blood pressure. And so people, those are three areas that we yeah, we deal with stress. A lot of us deal with frequently. I, I, I mean, it's an epidemic. They call blood, pressure. blood pre high blood pressure the silent killer. Mm -hmm. A lot of African Americans we deal with high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and a lot of us don't even know that that's what's going on <laughs> until we've stroked out and we're at the hospital, wow. and they're saying, "Listen, your blood pressure was two hundred over one hundred and seventy-five." Wow. You're like, "What?" Yes. Mm -hmm. It lowers your blood pressure. Number four, it does this also. And these are all health benefits. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you see how God sets these things up for us? Mm -hmm. And it's Come so on. simple. It's not even something you don't mm -hmm. have to go and climb a highest mountain. You don't got to swim across an ocean. You can yeah. just walk up to the person, give them a hug, 
kiss him on the cheek, and wow. you're helping with all of these areas. So when God created us, I created Adam and Eve yep. and put them in the garden to put everything they needed in right yep, there. Yeah, he sure did. You know, uh, there were no little brown pill bottles That's or, or right. clear pill bottles. Uh, everything they needed was What's either in a root, <laughs> right? Or, you know, it's in a true. vine, in it's a seed. True. And in the other person. And in the other agree. person, right? So number four, it does this. It strengthens your immune system. Strengthens your immune, immune system. system. Y'all, wow. you can get your vitamins, mm -hmm. your minerals. You can get all of that. But you can get from another human being's touch just from affection. Wow. Your immune system begins to bolster. And I believe that mm -hmm. is why statistically men live longer when they are married. Because uh, someone is there. Remember what affection is. It's caring for someone else. Mm -hmm. um, showing care, showing grace, showing affection. And so when... Uh, it's like when I moved here, when I married you, mm -hmm. there was some stuff that needed to be taken care of in you that you weren't even paying any attention to. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. like, honey, you need to go and see the doctor about this or that. And listen, mm -hmm. women is like this. We'll just make the appointment for you, mm -hmm. tell you to get in the car. And then when you get there, then you know that that's what's, ha <laughs> that's what's fit to happen, right? Yeah, nothing wrong. Sometimes you got to do that. Amen. You got to do that. If that's what, what it, it takes, takes to get some, him to the doctor, to the, okay. then, then do that. And you know, here, here was my thank you for caring that much because I love you that much. My my motivation, right? Here's my motivation. You ain't leaving me here with all of these chilling by myself. Remember you saying. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna need you to be healthy, well, whole, and strong because you are not gonna leave me to deal with all of these six children by myself. Yeah. Yes, some of them are grown, but just because they're grown does not mean that they don't still need you, right? And, and, and listen, testimonial some things that we get uh, by heredity, some things that we get by habit, yeah, it's true, and by a diet. Yeah. And so there were some things that I received from my parents. True. And now doing genealogy, I realized my great grandparents and even before them. Yeah. But uh, because you urged me to to, you know, start paying more mm -hmm. attention and I got you and I wanted to make sure that you were happy and you were taken care of. Yes, God. And went to the doctor. Yes, Lord. And they tell me that you have an 80 percent blockage. Yep. They and sure an artery did. and the left heart and yep. the left area of your heart. 80%. 80%. Do you all know how much 80% is? That's the percentage you know, of people that don't tie that church. Now, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still functioning. Yeah. I'm still doing the things that I need to do. Marvelous. And, and, and I feel, still feel strong as an eye. He does. In fact, the doctor said, he said, uh, you're, you're, what's wrong with your heart? You're strong as an eye. <laughs> And, and that's the way I felt. Uh, yeah. But in doing that and finding out that there's 80% yep. block it. And so the power of prayer Amen. and the power, the action yes, of actually Lord. following up, getting an appointment uh, yes. and following up with their appointment. Yes. So I went in, had the surgery, put in a little stint and uh, cool. started to get everything else worked out that right. need to be worked out. That boy. Keeping the appointment, staying active. Staying healthy and being affectionate. Come on. There is some effect. Big part of it. To affection. Some guys, some guys, one of the first thing they lose is the framazama. And oh. they're wondering why I don't feel 18 yeah. anymore. I don't feel 25 anymore. Does your frame because the that obstruction that went up in Oh you my know, goodness. And it could have been that's right, 70. Good hair, good body, which is a doctor. She says 70% obstruction qualifies you for a bypass in the heart and a stent in the arteries, mm -hmm. in the, uh, in the neck. Mm -hmm. And they did put a stent um in his heart. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, listen, y'all, I went in there not knowing that they were gonna do surgery. I thought mm -hmm. they were just gonna go and look. When they come back, the doctor says, Well, Mrs. Marstella, um, your husband went through and successfully went through the surgery. Success. I was like, Success su surgery? Wait a minute. I thought y'all was just going to look. But well, while we were in there, we went ahead and did what needed to get done. And mm -hmm. when he told me that you were walking around with an 80% blockage, mm -hmm. oh my God, I thought to myself, these folks is trying to kill people. 
They ain't gonna kill my husband. The yeah, devil yes. is a lie. We ain't doing it, mm -hmm. right? Hey, Sister Marilyn, God bless you. Kim says some things are just in the bloodline and you have to be more careful with your health. It's true. It's very true. Mm -hmm. What did Miss Cindy say that she's uh, agreeing with? Let's see, think about that. Right. Why you think so many people are in the dying in the hospital and in nursing home? No interaction with their wow. loved ones. And that is so and, true. And, and that's a very good point. Yes. Because it's interesting that during the time of the pandemic, one of the first things that they did was tell people, folks that you cannot can, go can no longer go and see your, your loved ones. Love one. Six feet. Now, now uh, your mom, the bounce back the queen, bounce back queen yo. you were able to talk with her via zoom yes. a number of times yeah. now thank god and uh so thank god for and you have to use those social and i uh, want to oh, implore yeah. you use the those tools that are available, available to you now. to connect with your loved ones. very one. true speak with them often yeah our apostles here and i know that he visits with mom very often on by phone he and mom are close yeah, oh yeah super close he and said that they we went love. and they they were able to just see her through the uh the wow. window but at least but you got to that, see them mm -hmm. you know and I don't know, God put something in us that we crave affection. Yeah, he yeah. put it in us and we ought to uh, have that because he says it's good for us. Here, let me tell you guys this. Not only does it lower your stress hormones, your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and strengthens your immune system, 20 seconds a day of hugs mm. alleviates stress and beats burnout. Mm. Not only that, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, it releases a hormone called oxytocin, right? Mm. And oxytocin is essential. In, it's a feel-good hormone. It also mm. helps you to slow down your heart rate, your blood pressure, and improves most things that might be wrong with you. Wow. 20 seconds in a hug. Yes, absolutely. My uncle had that same surgery. Amen. Uh, good hair, good body says, yes, this obstruction in good. the arteries in, in the femoral or iliac, iliac arteries will cause the third leg to point toward the obstruction. <laughs> wow. You, are you all catching that? Blink, blink. The wow. third leg to point towards oh. the obstruction. Oh, my God. Okay. Can you imagine this? But listen, mm. our body, it's like a, a, a divining rod or something. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 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 Just, it, it will point just, towards just the obstruction. Whoa. Mm. That's some heavy or, stuff. Or, and if it can't point at all, then. Then, yeah, you the know. frama and the zama is mm. young. Okay. Here's another thing that we need to know that wow. eight hugs a day. Um, the gentle pressure mm. on the sternum and the emotional charge this creates activates the solar plexus, stimulating the thymus gland, which regulates and balances the body's production of white blood cells that help to keep you healthy. Wow. The effects of affection. Y'all, I'm telling you, mm. this Re relationship, marriage, it's not for the faint of heart. It is there and it's intended for us to have the best relationships that we can have. We've got folks that's dealing with trauma. We have folks dealing with toxic individuals in their lives. And we're killing ourselves softly sometimes being around certain people that make us draw up. Mm -hmm. Certain people make us retreat into ourselves. We begin to feel the effects. We feel nervous. We feel tension. We feel anxieties. And so this is how you know that those are not your people. Wow. You may need to be around them just for a little bit. Like I was talking this morning on my Instagram page because, you know, we, I, and, and what the Lord put in my heart this morning is that we need to treat people right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what a person is dealing with or mm. going through. And if you have a word, something just nasty to a person, wow. that could be the one thing that they then use and say, you know what? No one loves me. And that might be yeah. the impetus for them trying to take their own life yeah. or, or doing something or hurting themselves or hurting someone around them. Mm -hmm. So this is why we have to learn how to be a affectionate, kindly affectionate, I believe what the Bible says, See, one toward and, another. And I wonder sometimes, if is it those folks who have not been treated like that, who are so quick to mistreat other people? Hmm. If you are uh, the type of person 
who is flippant with your words, you you just throw it off. You put people put under the bus easily. Yeah. yeah. You put people down easily. Yeah. It's easy for you to discard them. It's easy for you to, you're not my friend anymore. And, right. You know, if if that's you, then then get to the altar. Okay. You Harry, know, Harry get up. to the altar right now because you are affecting other people. Yes. And that's affecting your witness. How can you witness to, to a somebody. world about God's love Hello. when you don't love folks? Okay. We we have to be more loving. Um, so we got the third. Uh, Kimmy said uh, something here about Happiness before this show. one. So she said something one, before that. I, that I thought she was said that is what killed my sister in law's mom. Passed from she was feeling loneliness and she was dealing with dementia. She thought her family was there wasn't mm -hmm. there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. Amen. And it's true. Mm -hmm. it, it is very true. We need one another. And I find that even through this mm -hmm. time of pandemic, right? We need to, I know folks got their mask on and I don't have any problem with that. Yeah. Wear your mask, do what you need to do. Wash your hands. You should have been washing your nasty mm -hmm. hands anyway. Okay. Some of y'all shouldn't have had to been told to wash your hands, but you needed that before the pandemic. I'm hoping that you are getting into the habit of now washing your hands and yeah. washing your tail on Sunday morning and getting to church, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. We have gotten to the place where people aren't even speaking kindly yeah. because I've got the mask on. It's too hard for people to yeah. hear me. It takes a little bit more. And so I make it a point now that when I have my mask on, if I get if I can get eye contact, I'm saying something to you. Yeah. We ought to be uh, being affectionate towards one another, mm -hmm. even verbally. How are you doing today? God bless you. Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot. That's right. And we can't let something as thin as a cloth mask keep us from being affectionate with people. There are some folk, and I know um, we're trying this our best with the, the social distancing and all of that, but you know what? Both of you got your mask on, you turn your head and hug them just a little bit. Yeah, because yeah. listen, people need to feel affection. Some people live alone. Yeah. And they have nobody around them. Nobody wants to take the chance. I know we don't want to be sick. Increase your immune system. Did you realize that affection is a part of your immune system being kept up? Absolutely. And so, um, I, and I know somebody's going to write me a letter. I don't want to hear it. Keep it to yourself. I believe that the blood of Christ is going to keep us. Come on. We, my uh, uh, A gentleman, I heard him the other day. He said that if you can have it, God can heal it. Right. Come on. And I, I get it. But listen, I'm still at the place where I'm doing all of that, the things that I can. My mother, you all know, my mom has had issues with her health for several years. I asked my apostle, I remember the last time, not the last time, but the time that I left her, I called the apostle. I was at a gas station. I just pulled over and I called him because I was just in a state of mind. I was bawling. I couldn't even hardly talk. And he's asking me what's going on. And I said, mom is sick. I don't know if she's going to make it. And I remember him praying and he said, you got to have faith, daughter. You got to have faith. And he prayed. And I said, dad, I need her to be around for at least five more years. I got too much stuff going on. Yeah. My kid, one of my kids, y'all, was giving me the blues. <laughs> so she was giving me the blues and I said, I can't yeah. deal without talking to my mom two and three times a day dealing with this. Mm -hmm. And dad prayed and she's still here. I think we're like a year seven or something yeah. like that. But you know what? He helped me to get through it. Mm -hmm. I can feel the care coming through the phone. Yeah. I could feel it. I knew he loved me and I knew that he was concerned with what I was concerned with. And so after all of this time, she's still here. I can still call her. She done bounce back yet again, y'all. My mom, uh, diabetic, high blood pressure. Uh, she's an amputee. She's blind in one eye. Can't half see out the other. Right. Um, uh, I can't even tell you what else. She's on dialysis, kidney failure, all of that. She's had COVID, and guess what? She's back from having COVID. My dad is 85 years old. He was tested positive for COVID, and he never had a symptom. And both of them are still here in the land of the living. I believe God. I'm going to believe him. I'm going to take the precautions. But I'm still going to believe God, yeah. right? And we said a few weeks ago that COVID, having COVID, and, and not mo what kills most people, I, I won't say that's related to COVID, but what kills most people is fear. 
True. And we okay. have to stop letting fear yeah. rule our lives Absolutely. so that we stop doing the things that are necessary. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to speak to you because the Surgeon General or whoever it is <laughs> said that, well, I'm not going to show love and demonstrate right. the love of Christ that, that to you. Part. But my faith is bigger than my problem. Amen. Very our true. faith, our God is greater Amen. than any pandemic, any, any, anything that has ever come down the yep. pike or will come down. Amen. The pike. And part. trust me, there are more stuff coming down the yeah. pike. If you can have it, he can heal it. Come on. Good hair, good body says Abba Yahuwah in heaven has them both in righteous Come order. On. Amen. That's what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Let's see. Kim said, oh, wait, yeah. wait. Cindy. Pastor Cindy, wait, wait. Kim said, wait, wait. Uh, you never know what people are going through. It costs you nothing to be kind. Come on. She says, right now, the thing that is going to save us all is love. We are going Come to on. make it in this crazy world. Amen. Pastor Cindy says, if we truly have God in our hearts, we must love others. The Bible says, if you say, I love God and hate my brother, then Come you on. are lie. Yeah. You, you are dirty lie. You ain't it. Amen. <laughs> And Kim says to build up your immune system with herbs, vitamins, water, hot teas, wash your hands and your tail. <laughs> I love it. With soap. Amen. Amen. We understand what the Surgeon General says and, and, and mm -hmm. Dr. Fauci mm -hmm. and all of them. They probably shut us down now. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Who's what does God for? say? Whose mm -hmm. report are you going to believe? Amen. Mama and Daddy Sandy. Yes. Mama. Amen. Um, not just them. Th this is my other parents, mm -hmm. right? My other parents, my my mom, my mm -hmm. natural mom, and my bonus daddy. Mm -hmm. And so they are doing the well. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody is good. And I'm so thankful to God. Um, so listen, guys, the effects of affection. This is what we wanted to talk about tonight. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what we were going to deal with. We had uh, intercessory prayer today, and we had such an amazing time. And God has just really been doing some things. And mm -hmm. we know that without a shadow of a doubt that there are some things that we have to do. Uh, one of my former, one of my mentors, she would say it like this. She said, we've got to pray like it's all up to God and we have to work like it's all up to us. So guys, thank you so much for being a part of marriage makes the number three.com. Don't forget if you are in need of a spiritual encounter session with your marriage, your relationship, you are in need of a mentor, someone that's going to help to guide you through everything that you are dealing with, please, ma'am, please, sir, go on over to marriage makes the number three.com. And there you'll be able to get a free encounter session, a free coaching, counseling, whichever one you need session. Mm -hmm. Find the link. It's bit.ly forward slash MM3 L I N K S. And there you'll be able to find all of the wonderful things that we have available to you all. We certainly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming in and being a part of who we are. Uh, we're going to try to get ourselves together so we can come in earlier like we're supposed yeah, to yes. and not stay as long as we do sometimes. But it's good. It's all good. We are here. We've been here what going on six years now. Yes, yes. And we're doing this because we want you to to know that you can have a good yes, relationship yes. down here. There is mm -hmm. no marriage in heaven. You're going to be married to the lamb. And a good proper relationship is going to contribute to your health. Yes. As well as your wealth. Absolutely. It's going to contribute to you in every area, every area. of your life. Yes. Uh, I am a witness to that and we're so very thankful. Thank you, honey, for uh, such a, a, a great lead on tonight and for directing this. Thank you, Deirdre, for your support. Amen. We appreciate you Amen. so much. Thank you guys There's that have shared. You guys are amazing. Pastor said, hey, um, it's Minister you. Joanna, Evangelist okay. Joanna. I don't even know what you are now. Apostle. I know she's a preacher, though. <laughs> uh, Cindy, Pastor Cindy says, I'm going to go lower my blood pressure. <laughs> Come on, come on. Now I'm loving Give on my hubby. Come on. Give him my love. Kiss him for us, too. But don't, don't use your tongue. Kissing for us. Yeah. You yeah. know, just to pet that Pastor yeah, G and yeah, Pastor yeah. Michelle said, mm, yeah, that, then you can do, then you can carry on with whatever else you want to do. All right. <laughs> Kim says, my mom is 75 and she made it with having COVID. That thing is something serious. Amen. Check on your single friends and family members. They may need a good laugh. Come Amen. On, it's that's the truth. Good. So, share, share with them. Yes, thank you so much. Here. Yeah. Listen, before this year is over, uh -huh. if this has been a benefit to you, if this has helped you, our being here consistently and, and putting out the word 
concerning relationships oh, yeah. as well as the word of God, and you want to sow a seed into our <laughs> ministry, uh, we would yeah. love for you to do that. You can sow by PayPal. Uh, you know, go ahead and do that. Remember Amen. that your gifts, we are 501c3 organization. Uh, and, and, and your, your donations are, are tax deductible. deductible. So Amen. What a what a good time to give a big donation Amen. and have it come off of your taxes. Oh yeah, how about that? Right? Because you got a stimulus, you know. You're gonna get that stimulus. You sure right. They're gonna want some of it back. Bit.ly so forward slash TJM <laughs> donate. The link Thank will be you, there honey. in the bio. Thank <laughs> you guys so very much. You need prayer. Any other thing that you need, you can find us at the link. Just let us know and we'll come a running. We appreciate you we guys will, we so will. very much. We love you all. Thanks, we everybody. pray that your new year will be magnificent and that God will give you all the desires of your heart Amen. in accordance to his will. We love you guys. And you know what we always say here? We That God loves you and we love you. And ain't a thing you can do without it. Up, up in, in here. here. All right. I think I'm going to hug you about Aww, 20 seconds. Thank more. you. Good Ooh, hair, good body. I can thank feel you my, for contributing. I can feel my sternum pressing. I can feel I can, the cortisol. I can feel, <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. Do you feel it? I it's can, buzzing. I can feel Ooh. my toes curling. <laughs> we love, love you guys. Have a great night. All right. <laughs> so silly. Love you guys. And we'll see you all tomorrow night. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kimmy. So silly.